save non-league to top league uh, we're just going to go through the season review and um, see what we've got and then we will have a look at look at transfers in this episode and also hopefully the start of the new season with the first two games so season review um, we will have a look at signing of the season the sign of the season has actually gone to our goalkeeper uh, which we paid a bit of money for and is on quite a high wage um, I just felt that the well, goalkeepers we had weren't playing the best. Um, personally, no, it hasn't. I've got it clicked on it. I would have said Bell was our sign of the season, and it has been given to him. My apologies. What a signing he has been. Absolutely cost us nothing. I know he's a little bit older, but I think he's a really, really good player. And also, Wilson Brown coming in as well. Um, spent a bit of money on him. But I think he's going to be a very solid defender for us for the future. A um, couple of other faces that we've got in coming in here. Uh, the Arsenal youngster was awful. Um, didn't really get enough game time for Oli, but he was a decent backup because Bell was just so good. Ferguson, a little bit disappointing. Whiteman was meant to just be a bit of a backup anyway. Uh, Scarlett, I think, a bit of a disappointment. Um, Offy actually in the end started to become pretty decent um, so he might improve for the next season and be decent for us again Phillips not bad could have been a better season we didn't play much of Billy so again he probably uh, might have to get a few more games next season as our backup and also uh, br uh, br Brunchall maybe that's how you say it Brunchall um, again not bad when he came in quite happy with him um, as for out mainly a lot of our big names like James Lloyd, I think Lloyd Jane Jones went um, you leaving wasn't it, who was the big guy who played so well for us and we had to let him go it was you wasn't it yeah, so he went to Millwall f yeah that was it, Motherwell sorry for that and he didn't play amazingly well for them um, so not bad at all for us uh, overall a B plus which I'm quite happy with we finished sixth and we were supposed to avoid relegation great season for us um, not the best of starts uh, with three losses um, but then we started building up our and we had a little bit of a blip again here a big blip here um, and then a terrible end to the season <laughs> uh, where technically we won that game but it shows up as a loss because we lost on penalties um, the three best teams went through which makes sense, I've got to say Norwich did win the playoff final, got to the fourth round, they want us to be competitive so only a free a C plus in that but then play Millwall against our rivals, great result and then Liverpool in the next round not great a um, bit better though in the uh, Carabao Cup where we came unstuck again against Liverpool, great result against Arsenal um, I know they were playing their probably their second, maybe third string team. Still had some decent players in there, but great result that was for us. But this league was the most important where we did well. Um, biggest win actually was in the Carabao Cup against Mansfield. Game to remember was our 2-2 draw with Reading. Um, and our goal of the season went to Fraser against Derby. Reputation wise, not really much changed. Good that our sponsorships got up, broadcast, hospitality. Oddly enough, is it because we won the league last year? Maybe that was? Maybe. And our match day revenue's gone up. We really need these to go up because the club is in quite a bit of debt and not got massive enough money to play with. Oddly enough, Campbell is our best shirt seller. Aziz came in and he didn't really play. So he's a big name. Maybe he might show us a bit more next season when we play him. So it's going to pick the team of the season. Um, looking at the back four, no. I think um, Wilson Brown should be in there. Maybe I'll give it to Maynard for now in that game. Definitely probably our best centre. Definitely our best two wingers in the end. And maybe Campbell overall was probably our best striker, along with uh, Miles, of course. 
Um, any any awards? No awards for me. Um, but our club awards. So best average rating fans players of the season goes to Corey Taylor. Uh, young player of the season because he's still young enough is Miles. Sign of the season we already know is Bell. Goal of the season we already know is Fraser. Uh, top goal scorer it ended up with 31 goals was Miles and top assists was 17 with uh, Blackett Taylor. He also got the most man of the match awards, uh, but Miles got the most ha got the highest rating and best pass completion was Wilson Brown. See, so very good player. Uh, records broken though. Most overall goals by a player in a season. I know this is only since the start of the game, um, start of the series. So, but. 13 and 17 which they've both done this year which is good Phillips with the worst discipline no red cards but a lot of yellows and of course the youngster coming on to play a few games for us who played all right and he got the youngest player uh, any awards in there awards in there no um, so yeah some nice little bit bits about us uh, my manager timeline so we can go all the way back to where we first started at Western Supermare um, we got a decent result there, didn't we? We then got promoted. Um, we were doing okay in the next role, and then we got offered the job at Charlton, where we went really well. We got promoted again as winners as League of League One, um, and then we've had a really decent season in the Championship, uh, and we've got a golden generation of um, players coming through, which we have done, which we might have to rely on next season um these is our overall best 11 is this like ever surely not no so this is who it picks it picks canu in there and it picks edu in there old player crap uh hector's in there as well so that's probably from last season's um season review again there so we'll pay 1 point for that but we will receive that for staying in the championship so that's not bad, is it? So technically, we've got 3.4 million for being in the championship, which does that help our finances at all? It does. It puts us back in the black, which is good. But I definitely need to work on this wage budget, get that down, because we're only getting an extra two grand to what it says there. Um, so I've moved everyone up from both youth teams as well so there's a lot of players here at the moment this is what I do and then I start filtering through seeing where maybe we can get rid of some players get some money into the because like we could probably sell Whiteman because um, we have got these two competing for a first team goalkeeper um, and then with this young goalkeeper and this young goalkeeper coming up through we probably could get rid of um uh, Ash, Asher would you say that is Sadler and we probably could get rid of Henry as much as I do like Henry he looks pretty decent so maybe we'll loan Henry out but we'll get rid of all the other ones this guy's been wanting to go for ages looking at him I don't think he's quite as good as Henry but maybe I will compare those two maybe these two will go out on loan we'll sell Whiteman and we'll sell the other goalkeepers that we have um, and maybe loan these two guys out if we can and stuff like that I'll just go through through the whole squad and sort that out but when I will see you next will be at the transfers so I will see you at the start of the transfers hey, hello everyone um, I just want to bring you back to show you uh, we've been offered an interview for the Fulham job um, they are in the same division of us but I think their finances should be a lot better um, than we are um, so I'm just going to attend the interview, see what happens, and of course update you if anything else does happen. But I thought I'd just bring you back uh, to show you that we have been invited to a interview at Fulham. Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, we have got a massive decision to make. Um, I said that the Fulham interview, they approached us for an interview. Uh, we did the interview. Um, they've now come back to us with the actual job. Um, I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, so, I think it's 
I should go really if you think at the how and the save about um, progressing forward again quite a bit of a massive pay rise that doesn't matter it's more this we've got a transfer budget of 35 and a half million and a wage budget of 2.1 million let's just show you what we're spending at Charlton I've got no transfer budget and I've only got what a quarter of a million in wages which I know I'm not spending so if they're giving me that much money they must have so much more money in the bank uh, then chart and have so it is a big decision what is holding me back is look at the talent that we've got here you've got god bless zach could turn into it's going to turn into a pretty really good striker our right back's really good. I know Bell's a little bit old, but he's decent. You've also got this guy called Joseph who's just come through the youth team. You've got Hugo who's come through the youth team. I've just signed this 19-year-old Scottish guy who looks really good. Ronnie looks really good. Again, 21. Like Our team, younger team here, looks so, so good. Ah. Uh. They do look so, so good. Look, he's already valued at nearly 16.5 million. He's nearly valued at nearly 10 million top end. Oh, it's such a hard decision. And then, ignoring all the low knees we've got, we've even got some decent talents that we've got for free this year uh, down there that could become good players. We've also got, forgot, we've got Wilson Brown who I think is going to be a really good player. If he can improve his acceleration, again, he could become a really good, solid player. Um, and even we've got some players out on loan as well that look pretty decent. And then we've got abundance of, again, more really good youth players. Uh, not ignore Aziz. We've got a couple of youth players down here. You are still pretty, pretty good. Young goalkeeper as well. Yeah, uh, another young goalkeeper, stri another striker. <sighs> it really is. But with that sort of budgets and probably with the team that they've got, Surely we should just be able to bounce straight into the Premier League. But I probably could get a Premier League with Charlton. You never know. We've got a decent team. We did sit last year on such a small budget. It is a really, really hard decision to make. Most of you are saying just go for it, probably, because of such the big differences. Um... So, just brought you back to say, this is what we've done. I will make my decision. Um, and you will see what will happen then in the next part of the episode. Are we still at Charlton? Or have we travelled, which I have had a look, an hour west towards Fulham. Um, so, I'll bring you back once I've made my decision and to see where we are. Um, so I'll see you soon. Hello everyone. Um, as you've seen, we were in the process of maybe getting a job at Fulham. I was still debating no, because I really do like the look of the team that we've got at Charlton. Um, I quite like the formation we're playing. I really like a few of the players that we've got, and so especially the players I've brought in. We could be building a really decent club at a very low cost um, for us. <clears throat> But I have made a decision, and our decision is to be go to Fulham. Um, I think really it's the wages um, and the money we get to spend. I think it will really help us to properly dominate the league, hopefully, um, get to the Premier League um, and go from there. Could be a big, big mistake, could be a decent one. But we'll see how we go. So, 
uh, heated debate because we've left Charlton to join divisional rivals because we're both London clubs. We did lift, lift, lift the League One uh, with Charlton. Um, success at the new club. Quest, uh, questions will be raised on why Weatherden made the decision to take a different job within the same division. Pretty sure we're bringing success at Craven Cottage. Yep. Uh, Vanera Vice uh, was kind of the favourite for the job, but we beat him to it. Cool. Uh, Charlton, of course, will be looking for a new manager, and there's a lineup of all the managers and staff that have come with us. Okay, so we have brought some staff with us. Cool. Um, so, reputation same as Charlton, I think that is. So, we're, we're predicted second. We have got a director of football, and our assistant manager now is Billy. Uh, we were founded in 1879, and of course, fierce rivals are Chelsea. Our financial status uh, is secure. Like I said, we've got 35 million to spend, and we've got a two million pound wage budget. We've got superb training facilities, excellent and excellent in the youth, which is nice. And maybe we will get a few decent youth players come through as well. Uh, best spell was during the 2000s. Um, uh, winning currently, um, we have gained Fulham finished runners up in the FA Cup, and then finish as in the runner up in the Europa League. Wow, in 2010, I don't remember that. Um, again, won the second tier 2022, did they? Okay, cool. Um, so uh, relegated from the Premier League, third round and first round, so we want some improvements there. They are looking like they're playing a 4 3 3. I do like to change my tactics up uh, when I go into new clubs, so I'll see if that's what we'll still be playing. Um, our hot prospect is this guy. Will I be able to have a look at him? No, this is our star player. He does look pretty decent. Winger, left footed, nice. Okay, and this is our hot prospect. 16 year old winger again. Inverted winger. Okay, we'll just have to see what sort of formation we're playing. Um, but that's got an idea of what we're doing for now. We like to play attacking, possession, football, develop youth players. So hopefully they've got a very good amount of youth players that come through again. Set pieces, work within budget, grow your reputation, uh, be the best youth system in the championship. Okay, so we've got the best youth system in the championship. We want to get into the Premier League, be competitive in both cups, and also then gain automatic promotion, and then look to build to be a Premier League team. So they want us then to stay as a Premier League team after that. Um, so the fans want, again, Develop players, set pieces. Uh, we need to beat QPR, Chelsea if we play them, Brentford if we play them, and get promoted to the Premier League. Get all that sent out. I like to leave this every month. So there we go. We are now um, here. Uh, quite a lot of our staff has come with us. Um, so we've taken over at Fulham now we are now Fulham manager um, after leaving Charlton um, so what's all this then so there's some offer for players so I'm gonna have to check all this out aren't I okay might have to come back to that um this won't change yet because of where what we are season expectations so promotion i'm just going to leave it at that because i don't want to say stuff more than we are uh, again we'll just make a quick tactic wing player do uh they like to play that didn't they so if we just stick that in for now so it gives me a, a rough idea of what i want and yeah, we need to look at this, but I will come back and have a little look at it later. 
Uh, what we'll have a little look now is how far we're moving away and, and maybe look at moving home because um, I don't really want to do an hour's drive because um, I checked earlier how far away it is. It's about an hour. Don't really want to keep doing an hour's drive to get to the ground and the train pitches. So we will be on the move. So again, maybe we'll have a little look if we can forward sink a little bit nicer because we're on a bit more of a higher wage, which in the end we were able to squeeze up to 18,000. So going from four and a half to 18,000 is pretty decent. What we could do whilst we're here is ask if we can start a coaching course as well, because uh, that would really, really help us. So what I'll do is I'll see you at how far away we are, um, looking at maybe what we can afford for a new property. Hello, and um, this is just a quick viewing to show us how far we are traveling. So it's going to take us about an hour, I think it says, to get from um, uh, the, the valley to Craven Cottage. Why is it not showing me how far long it's taken? Well, it's not showing, but as you see, it's a journey over. It's about an hour. I did it from our old property as well. It's the same as about an hour. Oh, there you go. Hours hours drive ish probably a bit too far for us to travel each day uh back into to work also we're earning a little bit more money so if we just jump into the mortgage calculator we can have a little look um how much we can earn a year um no additional incomes and we have to work out our calculations let me quickly work it out and i'll be back so we've worked how much we earned now we earn this much because we're on eighteen thousand pounds a week um, so that's what it is before tax. Uh, how many people rely on my income? None, just myself. Um, just put these all at zero because I haven't needed to do any of these. So we get a result. So we can actually get a property for nearly four and a half million pounds. Wow. Okay. Um, I'll pop back and see what properties we can get then for four and a half million pounds i'll be back in a moment hello uh, this is the property that we found that we can purchase so let's just have a nice little look at some of the pictures inside um loving front room that we can move into looks like it's got a bit of garden space oh nice kitchen as well um for us um not the best view out of the bedroom window but still nice to have a nice little balcony looks like out there for the bedroom, massive bathroom. Um, and again, that decent uh, garden space that we've got as well. Um, nice outside as well. That is a big bedroom. Is Could be more than just one bedroom, that looks like. And never huge uh, master room. Um, and never bathroom, this time with a bath in the middle. Um, and more pictures of the dining room and the kitchen area coming up and every view from our um, so you've got a separate shower room and a bathroom oh and a nice little bit of sun trap yeah this is a nice little property that we've got to buy ourselves here um, so yeah and a nice little area um, just got to see how far we are now from uh, the ground so you see how far it takes us to travel let's just get through the rest of these images and now we'll have a look how far it is for us to travel so as you can see not very far for us to travel at all um, all but seven minutes in the car and it actually could only take us a 30, uh, 11 minute cycle or a 31 minute walk perfect we could even walk to work if we really wanted to it doesn't take too long at all um, so yeah that's where we'll be moving new property that we're in um, how much we can afford and this hopefully we can get off to a great start here at Fulham and get straight back into the Premier League so I'll see you in probably the next episode but I think I've got a little bit more to show you before we do disappear into the next one so I'll see you soon uh, so we've sorted out our home um, we've seen how far we have to travel and um, let's just have a little, little run through of the um, overall of the club so we have joined them um, with Secure Finances. As we know, they've got uh, a one million debt, loan debt. Um, we, of course, play at Craven Cottage. Their facilities are pretty decent. 
superb training facilities, excellent, excellent, excellent on all the youth and academy coaching and stuff like that, which is good. Uh, we will still try and improve that as we go on. Very small stadium, but not too bad at 29,000 um, for us. A um, few of the icons that we've got in here. Uh, fierce rivalries, as we know, are uh, Chelsea, but um, Brentford are in there, and also other rivalries, more of a local one against QPR. Um, as there... As we, we've got a director of football, we've got a club captain. Key player is Lopez, and we've already seen about um, uh, Keston Thomas. Keenston Thomas, um, which is not too bad. I've already had a little look through the squad. I've moved most players from the uh, under 21s up. Um, I've seen no point of bringing the under 18s up. There is a few gems in here which we may use. So we should we just promote? Um, no, I'll leave them in there for now. There's a couple of them. There's that guy that we're on about that can play, probably play him as a winger if he can improve his acceleration. Um, and then we've got Cameron Flower as well down there. Who's spirited, what are you? Professional, good. And that young goalkeeper is light-hearted. It's not the best, but it will do. But yes, so we've got a few players down here. But most of the players I've moved up to the senior squad for us. But we are known as the Cottagers. Um, we play in white kits. Um, do, 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 do. Not really much more to see on here. We can see how much I'm getting paid now. Um general um is being in the premier league for a decent amount of time we did get relegated back to promote promotion um and then up and down for a few seasons i'm surprised they did so well they had a 10th and 9th and a 12th finish which is not bad and then they decided must have had a real bad season dropping right out of the premier league hopefully we can get promoted straight away for them um and into the um, Premier League back into the Premier League again um, there's a few more bits that we haven't gone through actually the stadium was rebuilt in 2021 um, has no roof but does have under foil, foil under foil under soil heating um, and pitch conditions perfect that's because we've not played just yet um, yeah so, all looking pretty good. Um, we have got some fixtures coming up, which I've added. I threw in a few more because there's a little whale away to our next fixtures. Our first game will be against uh, Millwall. Uh, looks like they've got more coming in the cup um, for you. Where's the big game? There it is. Not till end of October. The big game, the big rivalry um, is there. Because actually, we didn't even play QPR at all. Oh, they got relegated, didn't they, QPR? Yeah, they got relegated. So literally, that's going to be our big rivalry. We'll be fighting out against Charlton every season. Um, but here, it looks like they've played a friendly, and they played a 5-2-3, and then a 4-3-3. Three, three. See, I was tempted to play something like a 5-2-3. I've sort of settled on this tactic. Um... Because we haven't played a 4 2 3 1 yet. But would a 5 2 3 work? Because you could have out and out wingers. Then you could finally use those. In, I've never used inverted wing backs. But the thing is, is, if you look at the squad, I definitely need to buy some centre backs, I think. Because the centre backs we've got, I don't think are good enough. Apart from Matteo, I do. He's out injured. So I think I said looking at the team, I don't think they look as good as my Charlton team. I'm a bit sad, to be truthfully honest with you. A bit sad that we've not at Charlton still. See, we got this 17 year old promoted. Maybe we should promote some of the 17 year olds and play youth again. Um. 
close at them. You've got like this left back who looks pretty decent. Um, but if you look through the team, not very good left backs. Quite a few full backs here and there. Definitely defensive midfielders. And then you've got attacking midfielders slash wingers. So that's why I went with a with an attacking midfielder um, sort of idea. Because you've got someone like this guy who would fit in that role good. Even Harry Wilson would probably play that role pretty decently. Um, but we definitely need wingers when you've got someone like this guy. Um, and then you had there was a youngster as well somewhere. Not a youngster, this guy here. Um, who again looks pretty, pretty good. And that's the guy I was probably thinking of, the youngster, but he's like injured, isn't he? Two months, Jesus. Yeah, so maybe not then. Maybe. Because hmm. then what you could do if you're playing inverted wing back. One of these midfielders could be attacking, couldn't he? Hmm. Might be this tactic, might be a change of tactic once I've had a proper delve into the squad um, and see what we've got um, for you and available. But. Um, for now, I will leave you there and I will see you uh, back at transfers unless this episode has gone on a bit long, uh, which will be in the next episode. Then will probably be transfers and um, the first two games of the new season. So I will either see you in a moment or see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching this episode. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you again soon.